Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right, today we'll be looking at how to use um, fragments in your Android um, application or your Android project. Um, why I chose to do this video is because there is a lot of very confusing information out there on fragments and you can go through a ton of videos just learning theory and not actually getting it done so this video will be focusing on how to just get it done all right not much theory so first of all let's start um, a new project um, give it a name I'm going to call mine um, um, answer as in answer to stuff and let's just click next choose your default just click next again and we're starting from an empty activity so let's click next as well all right and let's just leave that name as main activity all right so greater should start building out our application see how fast it does it because they say the new android studio is way faster and i'm using the newest i think the new one which is 2.0 all right so first we're greeted with our on um, our main method our main activity and basically we see our um, our on create method out here so we're waiting for Gradle to finish building all right so let's get let's 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 take a jump down to to the res folder and layout and activity main which is your first activity layout file all right let's get rid of this hello world here because i don't see why it's here it makes no sense to be here i don't need it so it's going to be deleted all right and let's add a button all right so we're going to add a button you don't have to add a button but i'm adding a button that we can press this and see our fragment all right so let's put push me as the text on this button and let's give this button ID as but one always use but one alrighty and now let's go right back under our, in our Android view and let's click on app and let's create an activity alright let's go to activity and let's just say um, let's start from my empty activity again so empty activity and let's just call this one next and click finish all right all right so let's go down to our rest folder again go to layout and go to the next activities layout file we're in the design view all right so we're not going to do anything fancy because we're just going to show you how to use the fragment inside your application so we're not going to do anything fancy like create anything major in this we're just going to simply change the background because we just want you to know the basics and let's just change the color to let's just say blue why we decided to change the color is to make it that you know when the fragment is um has been loaded into your your main your main activity or basically that activity the first activity so anyways we change the background so that's all you need to do just go to the background change the background color we're not going to be doing anything complicated where that is concerned we're just going to focus on how to get it in now let's go to our cl our class and it says right now extend and the class we're talking about is the one that we just created for our fragment right now if you choose um empty activity it's gonna say public class extends app contact activity app compact activity but that's not the one you want so let's delete the app compact activity and let's just say it extends fragment all right there we go fragment uh now what we're gonna do is get rid of this uncreate activity we don't want to uncreate um method we want a and create view so press on your computer alt and insert and that should bring up this wonderful um generate um what's that box <laughs> so that's alt and insert and go to override methods all right and let's type in o n which is on and then c for create 
all right and you scroll down to the one that says on create view that's what we want and it should have layout inflator layout inflator container view group save instances blah 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 so we want that on create view so click on it and click ok ah, and it writes a whole ton of code for you just like that all right so let's go now and let's add a view so right under where it extends the, fra the fragment under that first curly brace we're going to write we're going to create a view so we're going to do capital v as in view and let's just give your view a name so i'm going to call mine see me yep as simple as that see me and that will be the view that we're going to be putting in right above return we're going to just create some space and then type in let's bring in our view so say see me which is my view equals inflator dot inflate and we need to create a resource in this so let's go jump right back now to where our main activity layout file is concerned and let's add a fragment all right so scroll down we're in design view again and we're in our main activity layout file you can find it on under layout and it's the first layout file that you have so we're in activity underscore main if you chose the default name dot xml and we're looking for fragment it's there you could use the text view but i don't want to be confusing and I'm there asking you what's the default look at this thing I'm going to say web view fragment not that it's a web view fragment but who cares it's a web view fragment right now so say okay and let's just place it in there all right you see this little thing that says re rendering problems blah 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 scroll down to where it says pick a layout so let's just pick a default layout or a default look for when it comes up and I'm going to choose something very simple. So let's just say ABC screen simple. It even says simple. Can't complain right there. All right. And let's see if we can resize. It's very difficult to resize it from the design view. So let's go into the text view and resize it from there. So you scroll down to fragment and you see where it says wrap content. I don't want mine to be too big. So I'm just going to give it a size. So I'm going to give mine 300 dp and the height I'm going to give it, let's just say 300 dp as well, 300 dp as well. And over here you can see what it's going to look like. So it's right above our push me button. Okay, great. And let's go back to our design view and let's call this fragment, I'm going to call mine frag, R-A-G. So the ID for the fragment will be frag. Alright guys. So now let's simply go back to our, our class. Which is our fragment class. Which was the one that we created. Mine is next. And let's finish that. Inflator.inflate. So we're going to put in R dot layout dot and activity dot next so that's going to be our layout and then comma container which is the default container and let's just pass in false because we don't need any save instances and so that's false and then now right where you have return super just simply delete that line delete all of that line and return that view so we're going to return c me that's the view that we're returning so basically we're all set so we're ready to do some magic so let's go into our main activity class and in our onCreate method we're going to be referencing that button so we're gonna say button but I'm gonna call mine but x x equal I know jokes right there but <laughs> it's just but with an x <laughs> And now we're going to type button and we're going to say find view by ID. You should know this already. If you don't know it, then just check out some of my other videos. It show you what that is. And we're going to reference that same but one that we created. Alrighty. So now what we need to do is just simply 
create an unclick for that button. That's when we click on that button, it brings up our fragment. So let's say but x dot unclick unclick listener. We're looking for an unclick listener. But x dot uh, 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 set set unclick listener. That is it. Next new new unclick listener and it writes a whole ton of code one ton of code for us that's so you don't have to do it yourself now let's make some space inside of that and now let's just write where the magic comes in that's when we click on this button it brings in that fragment class that we created so let's just do that now so let's create fragment manager with a capital f obviously fragment manager Fragment manager, and I'm going to call mine F R A G I E, which is Fraggy, equals get support fragment manager. And it's very important that you put get support fragment manager and not just get fragment manager. It stops an error that will probably get to some persons if they don't put that. So, fragment manager, whatever the name of your fragment manager is, should equal get support fragment manager. And then you type Fraggy, which is the name of my fragment manager, dot begin transaction. And my transaction is a replace. So we that, that replace, so we get replace, which is the first one that comes right under commit. You should see that one. And we're going it's gonna ask us what should we replace? So we're saying you're going to replace R dot ID dot and we're going to get replace that frag that we created and comma. And then we're going to replace it with, and just type this in new, and type in the name of that fragment class. So mine is next, so it's new next, no uh, no parameters, and that's pretty much how that works. And before, right after we put that, let's just put dot commit. Very important that you add dot commit. So it would be what the name of your fragment manager is. Begin transaction dot replace r that id the name of that fragment that you created and a new because we're making an object of that that class new next or whatever because mine is next and you put dot commit at the end so that it does exactly what you want it to do and that's pretty much how you get that working so let's just run it and take a look Hope that wasn't complicated. I should have an emulator already fired up. So let's see what goes on with my emulator. So let's just see how that works. Somehow a plane just decided to fly by my house. So <laughs> don't know. Horrible timing. I guess they just want to fly. Alright. So we're waiting for Gradle to build out this application. Waiting, waiting, waiting. They say the new um, Android Studio is way faster. I am actually trying to see that speed here. Not seeing the speed. Still waiting on this thing to build out the, the APK. Takes a little while. But it eventually does it. But guys, I hope you understand how to use the fragment. You, it's not necessary that you have to have a button. But for this example, I chose to have a button so that you guys could see exactly when the fragment is being placed in your main activity. So it's a lot easier to show with a button. It's really hard to show without a button because it would have just been loaded automatically. And you probably wouldn't know that it is the fragment. Okay, so there we are now. So this is it. And this is our button right here. When we press this button, we should see this section become blue. Which means it has loaded the fragment into our main activity. So let's see what happens. Let's press this button. Ah, blue. This blue here is the fragment. The rest is your main activity. And it's as simple as that. I hope this has been way more simple than some of those fragment class tutorials I see on the night the, the net that just painful to learn. Um, this is what we do on this channel. We try to take very complicated or would be complicated tasks and make them very, very simple for persons to learn. 
and short hopefully <laughs> for guys to learn so no complicated jargon no complicated theory just code you can see and follow and pretty much that's it what we do is look for all the complicated stuff and try to make them simple if there's a topic out there that i cannot teach in a simple way i'll simply not teach it because i don't think i need to add to anybody's confusion is either i'm going to make it simple for everybody or i'm just not going to do it because if there's no way to explain it in a simple way then i just won't do it so guys thanks for watching thanks for all the persons who subscribe like share send it to a friend who is struggling with fragments and stuff like that in terms of code for this video um i haven't found out place to put it yet so there's no code for this yet i normally get rid of them when i'm done but i'll try to work on that for you guys in the next video and thanks for watching and thanks for your subscriptions and please share like comment it helps the channel out as you can see it's new all right thanks for watching guys